This is Jupiter Today for the 24th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant three, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant two, heading west. At zero hours, one minute, Io goes through an apogee, the furthest distance it is from Jupiter, and that's 423,532.5 kilometers. At six hours UTC, Io has moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one, heading east. Europa is still in quadrant one, heading east, but getting close to its eastern elongation. At 12 hours UTC, Io is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east, moving towards its eastern elongation. And Europa has now gone past its eastern elongation and is in quadrant two, heading west. At 18 hours UTC, Io has passed its eastern elongation and joins Europa and Callisto in quadrant two, heading west. At 2046 UTC, Europa goes through an apogee, and that distance is 677,236.7 kilometers. At 2116, Io goes through a perigeove, the closest distance it'll be in its orbit, and that's 420,025.2 kilometers. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, Io is in quadrant two heading west, and Europa is in quadrant two also heading west. Ganymede is in quadrant three heading west, and Callisto is also in quadrant two heading west. There are three Jupiter satellite events today. The first at zero hours, 46 minutes, when the shadow of Ganymede egresses. At 3.32 UTC, Io moves behind Jupiter. And at 6.16 UTC, Io reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. There are two satellite mutual events today. The first goes from 142 UTC to 147 UTC, and that's when Ganymede occults Io. It's a 5.5 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.18 and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.567 magnitudes, and those two moons are 32.18 arc seconds from Jupiter. Visibility of this event is a little bit of Western Europe, Western Africa, most of South America, and at least the eastern half of North America. This point in the center of the map is the location on the Earth where Jupiter is at the zenith at the time of this event. And the next event, which is a matched pair goes from 237 to 244 UTC when Ganymede eclipses Io and that's a 7.1 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.567 magnitudes. Io is only 14.69 arc seconds from Jupiter and Ganymede and Io are 30.49 arc seconds apart. And similar to the previous event, the visibility of this is extreme Western Europe, Western Africa, a lot of the northern part of South America, and now most of North America. All right, orbital ribbons for today. These are just the temporal connections between 
the four moons. So this is the connection between Io and Europa, and Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And we combine all these and colorize them a little bit. And today we get that. So 24 hours of Jupiter's sky, standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds. And this is what we'd see over the next 24 hours if we were rotating with Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees. Io just moved into Jupiter's shadow there. All the little moons moving in front of these larger moons must must be just absolutely fantastic to actually see. Maybe someday we will. Look at this, we're gonna going for almost a triple alignment there. If we were at a different longitude, we'd be able to see that. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. The first at 718 and the second at 1713 UTC. There was some new images posted, this little movie from a couple of days ago. And there was some new radio data posted on the 23rd of February. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 11 minutes, 53 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 12 minutes, 46 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 160.354 degrees, and that's 1.125 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 3.576 degrees, and that's 0.198 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 657,525,215 kilometers, and that's 797,951 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 33,247.96 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,843.25 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,482,073 kilometers. And that's 45,631 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,901.29 kilometers per hour. And that's 3.92 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. At zero hours UTC, the central meridian, CM1, 310.36 degrees. CM2, 193.83 degrees. CM3, 106.94 degrees. The time of this recording is 1.47 UTC on the 24th of February, 2014. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing. Make sure to tell everyone you know about this podcast and the information and the points of view that I'm trying to show. This project is part of a larger 
project that I am developing and working on. You can hear more about that in the description of this podcast. You can send your comments and images and suggestions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.